I'm happy and super proud to announce the World Championship 2021 for BFME2, the Rise of the Beach King with a cash prize of $2,000. Players from all around the world, players from every single country and also you are able to participate in this tournament. And all you have to do is join the Discord, the link is going to be in the description down below. Click on Discord's link and go to the signups and sign up with your username, with your Game Ranger ID and you are in. Just like that. And if you want to support this tournament, if you want to help us to reach the goal of $2,000, all you have to do is check me out on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can connect this with your Twitch Prime and this way you can subscribe for free. And this money, what we're going to collect during the next weeks and months, is going to be invested, of course, in the World Championship 2021. I'm looking to meet you guys in the next live stream and I'm super excited. I'm actually so happy that we are able to revive Battle for Middle Earth games together. And before further ado, let's jump into the game, which is going to be Shadow and Flame for BFME 1. And we're going to take a look into the Gondor faction. Let's get it started. Alright, let's do this. Gondor against Heart Army on the beautiful map Falls of Eisen. And we are in the Shadow and Flame mod. I'm actually also excited about the changes they implemented into the Gondor faction. We shall see. Prepare for battle, we're gonna build a blacksmith and a farm and also recruit Pedigree and Zook from the Zitter. For Gonzo, we're gonna wall check and it looks like we are against an evil faction and good against evil, El Clasico, they are my favorites. Look at this picture from the soldiers, everything is looking a bit different. And we can also take a look now into Pedigree and Zook himself. That's how the Hobbit is looking like, look at him. <laughs> look at this hairy feet he has. <laughs> All right. But he has also a ability here, by the way, which is called Guard of the Citadel. Uh, when Peregrine took arrived to Minas Tirith, he offered his services as a payment for Boromir's sacrifice to save his life. He was outfitted in the garb of the tower and was nearby. instructed by Beragond of the Third Company. Ipin gains 100% damage while near Beragond. Anyways, uh, that's gonna be a nice one because we will have also Beragond as a hero. And not, not only Beragon, we have the Guards of the White Tree, we have Imrahil, we have Beragon, we have Faramir, Boromir, and last but not least, Gandalf, the White Wizard himself. Open wise, we are able to pick up the Heal or the Beacon of Gondor, which is gonna give us 50% uh, more armor. Let's use this one for a change. Okay, we can use it here, and that's gonna help us to creep this work layer easier. Let's build one more farm and then we're gonna build up the stable right after. Use this formation to make our, you know, soldiers tankier. This way they're gonna take less damage, especially with this around, they will have so much armor. The building we are looking for is going to be the stable first. I like mobile units myself. This way I can run around the map and actually deal a decent amount of damage to my opponent. That's, what, that's how I like to play Gonzo. I mean, I think that's the, you know, that's the strength of the good factions in BFME 1. You are quite mobile in compared to evil factions, pretty much. Alright, this is gonna be secured by us. When we put Hobbit behind the soldiers, this way we can share experience. Look at that. Now we have enough money for the stable. Cash floating is bad, and cash floating means uh, not building anything in time. We can now move on. And wasting time in RTS is always a bad thing, so you need to be active. You need to do always something instead of waiting. Uh, for your opening to make a move. We are warriors of the Shire. We are warriors of the Shire. You heard Peregrine took guys. Okay, let's creep this one right after. We are also able to use the defenders of the White City. With the one of the battalions. Come on! <laughs> we can also build one more blacksmith because we will have the money almost by the time. I think I can beat him. Yeah, indeed, we have almost the money, 640 is needed, so we need to wait a couple of seconds, but that's absolutely fine. And you are also able to recruit the Knights of Dolam Roth from the Citra, from the stable, I mean, once it's level 3, I believe, right? Yeah, it's level 3. We are warriors, of the, we are warriors of the Shire. Grab all this stuff, and then we can also buy this farm. We have now a level 3 soldier. And we are against Mordor, ladies and gentlemen. My Hobbit is hitting like an absolute truck, by the way. Let's use this one. 15% movement speed and 25% armor. And I really like the fact that you are um, able to move way, way faster. Press on. Press on. <laughs> this guy is only thinking about his breakfast. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Peregrine, come on. There are wargs nearby. 
But I got you. Look at this picture. Everything is looking different. And I'm a huge fan that units have also a level 2 ability in this game. That's quite nice, actually. Alright, let's keep this one right after. We can now build blacksmiths. The reason why we are building blacksmiths in instead of the farm, uh, because, you know, farms are cheaper. But blacksmiths are tankier. Watch this. 3000 HP with level 1. 1000 HP. 1500 HP with level 1. That's the only... That's not the only reason to. Oh, I was not paying attention here. Look at this gob. Is this goblins? Yeah, it's goblins. Oh, I, I was not able to cloak. Look how fast they are too. Please, please save Peregrine Zook, Gondor Knights. Actually, he's one-shotting those goblins. He's so strong. Okay, we are cash looting once again. One, remember what I was saying before, cash looting is bad. <laughs> you know, now our civil is going to hit level 2. That's going to give us the chance to also purchase the night chill upgrade, which is going to give us more resistance against arrows. Instead, in this case, for example, against archers or against towers. Okay, let's creep this one, not a big deal. We're going to creep this one right after. Now we can turn and kill these units. It's also not a big deal. And first upgrade is gonna be the Forge Blades. That's how you know how you normally wanna play Gondor. Okay, let's peel back. Peel back, holy moly. Okay. Don't attack my hobbits. That was close. We almost lost the entire battalion. That would be really bad. Wedge formation to make them deal more damage. This way we are able to kill the lair a bit faster. The Forge Blades are ready. Forge Blades are ready. Okay. Our units are so tanky though. I mean, our level 3 units. Let's use this one and also this formation. Get the money from the ground and keep on moving. Expand, get more money. And actually, we can try to save these units maybe. Let's heal up with the second Gunner Knight and we can now move with them and also buy the heavy armor right after. The third Gunner Knight is going to give us the chance to purchase the Night Shields. Once again, that's going to make our Gunner Knights tank here against arrows and. Uh, which is very helpful when it comes to rush the Isengard, Mordor or Gundabad base. Because they will build a lot of towers and that's gonna give us just much more resistance. Moria Orc. That looks actually pretty nice. And it's also shooting with level 1, with level 2. It's kinda interesting. Okay, let's buy the Night Shield. Next upgrade is gonna be... Yeah, we have all the upgrades purchased now. Look at this tankiness from this building. What is that? Do we need to heal them? I think we have to heal them. Let's use this heal. Holy moly! I mean, I was not buying upgrades because I, do, I didn't think... Did, are we gonna lose these units here? Come on. Oh, I was really lucky, but this building is quite tanky, man. And also hurting quite a lot. Let's kill this. Okay, so we have to be careful. We have to peel back because he has these buildings everywhere. And they are so extremely tanky. Of Let's give them shield. This way they're gonna become tankier. This units were able to recover. We can also. I mean, this one is. We can ditch him. He doesn't need that. Tell me again why I came. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, we have the night shields now. That's gonna be a different story. Look how tanky we're gonna become in compared to earlier. But we have no forge blades. We have not that much money just yet. But that's gonna be fine. Let's fight this. I'm, I'm down. But that's a really interesting building. This Moria or cave. Uh, the way it's so tanky and also shooting, it's kind of very annoying to deal with. I mean, that's something I would consider as being OP, you know? That should be a weak building because Gondor Knights with upgrades, they need a lot of time to actually take it down. Men of Gondor. Okay, we have all the upgrades now. I believe, yes. We have heal on cooldown, but it's fine. He's building this stuff all the time. But now, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go for a potential base rush, guys. Oh, we are getting slowed down, but it's fine, it's fine. Look at the space. His tower is here, too. Let's... Oh, we can't right-click on this one. Let's get them... Oh, look how many wolves he has! This guy... What is the slowing down? What the heck? Let's keep fighting here. I mean, we won't be able to achieve too much more. And also, this building is kind of buggy. Not able to attack it. You see that? Many units are not able to attack for whatever reason. Let's move with these units too. Let's kill this tower and then disengage. Let's use this. That's going to give them also movement speed, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 25% movement speed and minus 25% crush declaration. But you might seem... Is this a hero? Yes, that's a hero. Who is this? Oh, that's the Gundabad faction. Okay. Look, these wolves are faster than our units, guys. Oh my goodness, we lost one of the battalions, unfortunately. We are cash looting, now we're gonna take a look into the heroes. We should be able to win this fight, hopefully. This guy's actually quite strong, let's use heal here. 
Is he gonna run away from us? He's trying to run away from us. Oh my goodness, don't run away. Yeah, he's gonna get away too. Oh, 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 big brain alert. Big brain alert. Come on. Uh, <laughs> no way, I misclick. I got it. I, I had it. Guys, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Alright, look, now we have the Prince Imrahil. And also, we have the Badagond himself. He has the God of the Citadel, which is gonna give the nervous structures armor. That's interesting. And also unique. Fierce loyalty. And Beragon gains 25% damage and health and near Faramir. Oh. It's gonna give Faramir, the captain of Gondor, the chance to finally show his quality. Imrahil on the other side has uh, Fair Lord. Uh, leadership bonus to Dolamroth units near Imrahil. And 50% armor and 100% combat experience. Quite nice. Unsketched. Imrahil gains 300% armor in, and is resistant to knockback. 300% armor? Holy moly. Amro for Gondor. Imrahil and Norbit troops uh, gain again armor and crash decalibration. And then the wise cancel. Units can exp Okay, never mind. We need to move now. We need to move and meet them. For a white tree. For our people. Don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. We shall win this war. Okay, Boromir is looking a bit different picture-wise, but he is pretty much the same design-wise in the game. He has Shield Bash, the Horn of Gondor, and the Captain of Minas Tirith. And his brother Faramir, also looking different, he has the chance to fight with Sword and Bow. Like in normal BFM you want, pretty much. This is a hero. Yes, it's a hero. I want to see the quality of Imrahil. And Faramir has also one arrow, and the Wizard. Pupil, which is gonna give experience, and then the man of Henet Amun, Anun. Interesting. We are not able to pick this one up yet. Wait a second, I wanna take a look into that actually. Why we are not able to recruit these units and also Gandalf? Gandalf, I believe, is the same situation. Yeah, you have this white wizard from level 10, or 10 power points you need to collect after the 7 one. And this one, the guards of the white tree. Um. Requires Guides of the White Tree. And this is going to be this one. Okay. So let's take a look into that. I want to see how they are looking like. Oh my bad. Sorry guys. Middle Earth depends on us. Middle Earth depends on us. Indeed. So we have all the heroes we could get on the field. Now we are getting also the Guards of the White Tree. These men are the silent Guards of the White Tree. They are arms in armor. Inlaid with Mithril. Invoked memory of lost Numenor. Oh my goodness. That sounds crazy. Right they are able to get out of vision because of Peregrine took. And remember, once Baragond, this hero, is near to Pippin, he will also have to have the chance to deal 100% more damage. Oh, they are looking like tower guards, pretty much. But it's a different design unit. Look at this design. I mean, I keep saying it, but it's the truth, you know. That's a game from 2004, guys. And for that reason, that looks dope. Nervous structures gain 50% armor. Oh my goodness. Quickly now. Quickly now. <laughs> I want to see the area. I don't know what the area is. And they have the banner. And last but not least, the Undying Hope. Nerby heroes gain 10% to all stats. I want to see that. And for that, they need to be level 3 first. I want to see also how strong they are. Let's move out with them and meet them. They're also quite fast. Normally, Tower Guards, they are not that fast. Uh, you are also able to limit it to one unit. Yeah, yeah, it's a unit. It's not a hero at the end of the day because you don't see them at the bottom side of your screen. But you are only limited to get one of these units on the field at the same time. Okay, let's make one more Gondor Knight. That's going to give us the chance to get some Knights of Dolam Roth on the field. And in the meantime, we can also move down and, you know, purchase this outpost here. Our guards. This is, by the way, the shield fall formation. They're gonna make them tankier. They're gonna lose. They're gonna lose movement speed in exchange, but that's fine, I guess. We have so many farms outside. Okay, let's fight this. I mean, that's, those are goblins, you know. I would not be surprised if we one shot them. Okay, let's see. They're looking. I mean, they're not even one shotting them. They're kind of weak. I was saying also in the last video, I feel like when you add um, to BFME 1 the battle stances like aggressive stance, hold ground stance, it would be a big improvement. Okay, let's move to this side. 
Now we can here potentially try out the different um, units instead. In this case, for example, the barracks, the archer range, and then last but not least, also the marketplace, for example. Stable is level three. Now we are able to. Re oh, you are also only able to re uh, recruit three of them on the field at the same time. Can I have some bacon? All right. Goblins are fast though. Let them have it, man. And once Bring again, they don't feel very strong. I believe they are more or less um, like a sportive Let unit to the heroes because of this undying hope. We're gonna take a look now into their damages against the Moria Orc Cave. They have also no Forge Blades, you can't even buy that, that's not possible. Uh, okay, you are able to recruit Archers of Gonzo, Spearmen of Gonzo, uh, Soldiers of Gonzo, and once this is level 3, you are also able to recruit the Guards of Citadel, also limited to 5 units only. So in order to get this to level 3, Let's give them the waypoint, they're gonna move immediately to the base of the opponent. This way we will have always space in our command points. Okay, now we are with the tower guards against a hero, and this hero is... <laughs> look at this face. <laughs> you remember this guy from the first video of the Shadow and Flame? If you don't know, I made also a video about the Gundabad faction. It's, I think, uh, in my the second latest YouTube video of my channel, guys. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check it out. Oh, he's leveling up quite fast, though. Archers at the ready. Archers at the ready. We're gonna lose this farm, unfortunately, but that's fine. Marketplace, pretty much the same. Grand Harvest, Iron Ore, the same stats, too. Nothing has changed. And you are also able to recruit these units only from your Tita inside your main castle. You are not able to recruit them from the outpost. Ah, oh, you are able to. Okay, I take it back. It's not working for the first time. Oh, that's a Baragon. We need a uh, Prince Imre Hill here with our units. These are the um, uh, Spearmen of Gonzo. They are also looking different. I like this design a lot. And also the, the, the you know the thing that you have now. A uh, normal Spearman. Forge plates, heavy armor, the banner, and then also the defenders of the White City. They will get more movement speed and also more armor. Defensive position. Soldier battalion standing by. Okay, let's move for our attack now. We need to fill some power points at this point. And we need to get, of course, um, this uh, the white wizard unlocked from the spellbook. It's very important. Let's gonna make them faster, right? So let's use this one for a change. Oh, Bor what? Who killed Boromir? I mean, Boromir, some why, <laughs> somewhat. For some reason, he's always dying. Oh, there are trolls on the field, too. What is this blue, um, purple thing on the ground? Faramir, please show your quality already, Faramir. Shoot them down, Faramir. Holy moly, this guy is popping, up, popping off. Taking, oh my goodness. Can we actually kill these trolls in time? That's the question. Oh, oh. Oh, just in time. Inhuman reaction. <laughs> okay, we have to... Peel back and let Farami handle him. I mean, this troll is just annoying and knocking us down on the ground all the time. We can also use this one, maybe. Give them some more armor. Beacon of Gunzo. And this way we are gonna be finally able to deal with them. Faramir, come on, show your quality. One of them is down. Holy moly, they are so tanky, these trolls. But now we need to peel back and heal up over time a bit. Um, we are also able to get the archer range to level 2. That's gonna give us the chance to recruit some Italian Rangers, and also, this is level 2. Look at this army, what the heck? Oh, look at this! Build White Tree Banner. Grants a bonus to Norway Archers 20... That's new. That doesn't exist in BFMU1 normally. Powers, they cost the same. Trebuchets, they cost also almost the same. Paramia, show your quality. Warning arrow him. Boom! Farami is sitting like a truck, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, these are the special units, by the way, this Dolamroth Knight Battalion. Let's take a deep look into them, shall we? Let's zoom in a bit more to see them. Okay, they are looking, they are looking dope. Look at this design, ladies and gentlemen. That looks great. Look at these horses. And once they are level 2, they have also the Desperate Charge. Temporarily get 25% movement speed and minus 25% crash decoloration. Middle Earth depends on us. Middle Earth depends on us. Okay, let's give, let's group all our calf units together with Prince Imrahil because he's also a mounted hero. And we're gonna now go and fill some power points. And what we're gonna do also is we're gonna demolish one of our farms and build up the 
Stone Walker, to make our towers hit like an absolute track. Talking about absolute. Oh, <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> Alright, I see you. Dude, it's level. It's not even level 3 yet. It's so hard. What is this? This hard army is kind of feeling a bit stronger. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Alright, let's go for a trample. They're also using abilities and stuff, so it feels a bit stronger, to be honest. Oh my goodness, what is this troll? Oh, we, we won't be able to see any of these units, by the way. We have to kill back now. We will lose everything here, too. Look, this bulk is pogging. Why is it so hard? Oh, we lost everything we had. We had on the field, right? Yeah, we lost everything we had. We need the white wizard. Come on, Gandalf. But we are not, get, we are not getting any archers on the field. That's the problem we have. And we can't kill those trolls or whatsoever without archers. Borom, you shield bash them. The trolls are quite tanky. They don't even die that fast against the towers. But that's gonna be changed now. Oh, they removed the laser towers. Man, don't do that to me. Why would you do that? Holy moly, we need to close the gate and hope for the best. We lost the outpost. That means we have to rebuy the marketplace here from the base because if you don't have the marketplace, you won't have anything, get any advantages from it anymore. So, you know what we're gonna do now? Numenor Stormwork. So it's gonna be tank here. We're gonna move for a potential attack against the base. We have also Cloud Break now. I mean, we have to White Wizard. It has to be good for something, right? Oh, look at these trolls, dude. Leave me alone. We must be quick. Trample them down. Go. Just like... I mean, the slow is crazy. I gotta be honest, they nerfed the calf unit so hard in this mod. So extremely hard. Your oh my goodness, this guy is building everywhere. Your and I like the changes they did also to the hard army. Sword. It feels a bit harder now. Def I mean, Sharpen it feels way harder now, but I like challenges, you know me. Your okay. I mean, he's following us, so we won't be able to deal too much damage, but let's hit and run a bit. We have to fish some power points. Uh, oh! This guy is bro breaking inside the base. We have to peel back now. Are we gonna lose this game or something? I don't know what the heck is going on right now? Alright, so we have to peel back. Holy quacka moly, guys. Barami go on the wall. Boromir has been taken down once again, but also the Baragond has been taken down. Let's recruit those tower guards once again for the defense. Let's build the archer range here. Let's take down Bolt. We are also getting some power points. That's a good part, good part about this one. Come on, die Bolt. Bolt is a tanky too. Alright, level 5 now. Now we have the um, Amrov for Gonzo. Let's peel back. Let the towers handle them once again. This is not doing a great job. Let's demolish this one. And here we are gonna build the barracks. And we are not gonna recruit any more calf units because he has so many. Oh, Farami has been taken down. Dude, what the heck is this? Come on, use Cloud Break to maybe slow them down a bit and stun the enemy units. We need still 5 power points for the history. For the White Wizard of Gondor. This is an intense game, to be honest. I like it. <laughs> I like it. We lost all the calf units. Maybe it was not the smartest move to disable or to demolish the stable. Swords. And the towers are not hurting that much, to be honest, either. You know, it's a problem. Boromir, come on. Return and do something. Does Boromir have to knock up? Also, but now Boromir is getting knocked back. That's the thing. Ours are doing a nice job some, somehow. Who's Horn of Gondor, maybe? But there is nothing to stun, and you can't stun those trolls. And this guy is spamming trolls on us all the time. 24 7. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Okay. So we need definitely archers. We need archers, 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 archers. That's what we need. Luckily, we have some money. Middle Earth depends on us. Yeah, hopefully. There is even a hero. This is Bulk, I believe. No, that's um, Luck or Luck. 
Knights of the Silver Thorn. Kill him. Nice. Level 6 now. Let's peel back now once again. Oh, and it's time, guys. When the hope for man is over, it has to be the Mifranzia who is gonna join the party and save Gondo once again. But I'm really un I'm really not happy about that. What what is this? Alright. Our Hobbit is by the way still around this side. Look at this troll. What is this troll, guys? This lo <laughs> look at him. He looks mad to me. And look at this army, Warfia of Mordor. Gunzabad is popping off. Shining bright like a diamond. We are waiting now for the White Wizard himself. But we finally have also some archers now on the field. That's great. Let's put them around the gate here. And then put them also in the shield wall formation. This way they're gonna body block this. And look who is here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this picture. Uh, and it's the Mifrandi himself, Gandalf. You are not able to buy Gandalf from the Titan until you have the history. The White Wizard spell from the Spellbook of Gondor. He's gonna be level 10. Shadow Facts, he has leadership. Look the leadership he has. 150% armor, 150% <laughs> and fear resistant, and also 150% combat experience. The Shadow Facts, he has the Reju Rejuvenation. Nervy heroes are healed and get also 50% attack da damage, I believe. Servant of the Secret Fire. Uh, Gandalf temporarily gains 600% armor. He's gonna become tanky. And then last but not least, the Flame of Arnor. Beam of Light that damages enemies. Additional damage to Felbys and Balrogs. Okay. We are trying to get to, to level 2. It's finally level 2 now. Let's move out. Let's move out and meet them. Oh, Boromir once again! This Boromir is always solo missioning him. Uh, the opponent units, you know? But we have a Wizard Plus. I wanna see the Wizard Plus damage here. Good Gandalf, can you knock them down or something? No, you can't. And we are, actually, Gandalf is kind of useless. I gotta be honest with you. Gandalf in normal BFME is stronger. I want to see the damage against this hero. Okay, not bad, not bad. But again, he has no lightning sword. And he has also uh, no water of power here. Unlike in normal BFME. Okay, let's give them also some, you know, upgrades like this arrows. They have to fight for the, refight for the map control, guys. We have no farms outside. Can you believe that? Look at these trolls. They are why they are all so strong. I don't get it. We have to get some more ranges on the field. Definitely. The building is sitting even level three. That is a hero once again. Let's go for another visa plus. It's reloading quite fast though. I mean that's the bright, you know, the good part about that. Okay, let's move. You move in the wedge formation. We're gonna buy this farm and we're gonna move on also. We have to fight first of all for the map control, but that's gonna be also great because that's gonna give us the chance to also take a look into the um, power points. Stormwalker and Marketplace upgrades are 50% cheaper. It's too late for that. <laughs> We've already purchased all the upgrades we needed. Okay, Gandalf is level 10. We are now getting some ranges on the field. They've also hold fire. And once they are level 2, they have the Woodsland Mastery. They're gonna get 25% increased range and 25% increased attack speed. They're gonna shoot very, very quickly. Now, we can also move with these units maybe forward. Defenders of the White Tree, okay. Let's use Cloud Break to stun enemy units because this way we can actually take them down like that. We can move now in the normal formation two Tower Guards. Back them up a bit. Alright, we are getting some more ranges on the field. That's also necessary. Let's fight this back. Paramir is now level 4. Oh! Peregrine took! They sold the Peregrine took for whatever reason. Look at this army coming from the middle. That's crazy, guys. Boromir! <laughs> this Boromir, though, maybe it's it's me. Maybe it's me not paying attention that much, but still, like, Boromir is always feels like he's running it down, you know? Fall back, fall back, indeed. Let's buy this farm, let's destroy this outpost as soon as possible. I want to see the damage of the Easter Delight, or it's called the Flame of Arnor against the Zitta. Let's see this. Not much. I mean, this kind of feels way weaker than, Isengard, uh, than Saruman from Isengard we have seen in the last video. And we have also now the power points for the Grey Company, summon Super Talents of Tunnel and Rangers. Okay, let's do this. We will need them right now on the field, pretty much. Parami has to be careful. It's your time. What is this guy? He's looking so strong, too. And we have also another hero now. Halbarat. Okay. Please. 
Why are they not attacking the buildings? Come on. We will drive them into the dust. All right, we will def. Okay, we need to spam rangers now. We are kind of losing it. This guy is also getting bullied. Come on. We're attacking. You need skin experience. You need to be level seven for that. Seriously. We finally got the chance to destroy this outpost. Finally. We are falling apart. Farami has to kill back. Farami, Farami, Farami has to run. Boromi also ran. Please, you just came back from the fortress, dude. Don't suicide immediately. We need to give them also more damage. That's what we have to do. Imagine us not having any towers. I want to see the damage against this troll. Well, actually, Visa Plus is dealing a decent amount of damage to the troll, too. And now we have all the power points unlocked from this spellbook. But this game was intense, to be honest. Or is still intense. It's not over yet. And G Gondor feels a bit weak in compared to Gundabad and also the Isengard faction, as well as the Rohan faction we have played so far. He has to be careful, he's level 9. We lost one of the heroes, didn't we? Yeah, we lost. Kill this guy, please. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. You kill this the, with the full HP. Okay, he's one-shotting him at least. It's our, the trolls, though, they are such a great count and they are so big, too. What the heck? Let's give them. We have no money. That's the problem we got right now. So let's actually give him Visa Plus so he's gonna automatically cancel it whenever it's available. We have to get some more farms on the field as soon as possible. Okay, let's move now and try to deal some damage to the bees. The trolls are so tanky, too. That's crazy. And he has so many of them. Come on, man. Look how long it takes to kill one of these trolls. And even with this much leadership with Gandalf being around, you know? Yeah, but heroes are healed. And actually, he didn't even heal the heroes around him. Because Imra Hill is also a hero, as far as I know. Okay, we have to peel back now. We have to peel back, but we have to peel back from the middle. We need to keep them away from this outpost. Otherwise, we're gonna lose it. Gandalf can turn and visa plus, maybe? We have no place in the world. Boom! Be gone to the shadow. Is this a hero too? Yeah, we are taking so much damage. We need to now peel back. Now we have a reasonable amount of army. And let's move forward now, shall we? But this feels so hard, dude. I mean, maybe it's Gundabad, maybe it's the hard army, but maybe it's also the Gondor faction, which feels just very weak. And also Gandalf kind of feels like a walking statue, pretty much. Doesn't have too much damage. Relying so much on the others. Gives leadership only. I mean, I don't I don't like that that much to be honest with you, but. Alright. Okay, we are leveling up like crazy. We are also able now to summon more units. And we are able to summon Matriel. I know this guy from the from the films. Look at this. We are able to summon them. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Let's use Cloudbreak again. No, we can't. So we have to kind of deal damage now to his economy. Otherwise, he's going to just spam more and more units all the time. They're going to lose also the farms. Unfortunately, these trolls are everywhere. And this Kundabat is just spamming trolls all the time. I cannot believe it. If we are able to hit two of them at the same time with the Easter Light, it's great. And now you also need to spot because of the trolls. Now, the orcs or these units here are no problem. But look, they are even tanky against <laughs> against Gandalf. They don't take too much damage either. Alright. Gondo calls for aid. And Rohan, ladies and gentlemen, will answer. Master the Rohirrim. Club break. Let's use the beacon. Let's now try to deal some damage to the building, shall we? And where are the rangers? Come on, Rangers, you move to this side, please. Alright, you shoot, you shoot. And you will have to kill the... I mean, let's peel for this, Rangers. Level 10, but doesn't do anything, actually. Oh, Barak, what is Barak doing? Oh, do we have heal? Yes, we have heal. Oh, my goodness. Playing also a bit sloppy. Boromir, please don't overestimate yourself. Alright. Um... Yeah, we are also able to make some more units, but actually we don't have this many command points available anymore, guys. And archers, they have also no fire, by the way. These are from the summon, I don't mind if we lose them. And yeah, let's move forwards now. Maybe we can actually try to kill this sitter. 
would be great if he could. He has no trolls on the field so far. So maybe we can surround it and attack it from multiple sides at once. And try to burst it down. I believe that's going to be the plan. Oh, the trolls are coming from downtown. But our rangers are now finally dealing some damage. That's great. Level 10 Faramir too. We are able to summon them once again. It's actually quite reloading quite fast. Boromir has been taken down once again. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Talking about Boromir. I mean, Gandalf can use this one. Servant of the Secret Fire. And now he's going to become absolutely tank. Boromir, my friend. I'm sorry. Maybe it's me, but I can't save you for whatever reason, Boromir. Keep an arrow ready. Keep an arrow ready. These goblins are quite fast. But we have to repair this wall too, right? Yeah, let's repair this wall too. Or this gate in this case. Sorry, not wall. This outpost is going to be eventually taken down. We are not able to summon anything. We are able to summon something. Let's summon these units, by the way. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, I thought this is Faramir for a second. No, no it's not Faramir. Once this guy is level 6, summons 3 guards of Citadel to 8 Baragon in battle, okay? But this um, guards of the Titan, they are not feeling very strong either, I gotta be honest. Wedge formation! It's going, going down slowly but surely, but it is how it is. Let's make some more ranges, shall we? We can't even buy this base anymore, we have not that much money left. Because we keep losing stuff and we also have to rebuy stuff all the time, units in this case, right? Look, very green took. He's looking like a spearman, but he doesn't deal any damage. What the heck is this damage from? He's useless. He's absolutely useless. Oh, where are our units at? They're here they are. Did we lose all the ranges we got? I think we did, right? No, no, they are here, okay. Kill this big one, please. Okay, he's dying quite fast to archers, that's great. I will destroy this foe yet. And Faramir, please show your quality. For Gondor! For Gondor. Okay, let's heal a little bit. Boom. It doesn't deal too much damage either. But you are able to summon them multiple times during a fight, that's great. We are waiting for the money now to buy this castle. I think that's gonna be important and necessary. Come on, please. Come on, come on, there we go. Alright. Middle Earth, Middle Earth depends on us. Now what we have to do is we have to rotate also with these units potentially. But we have no money to upgrade them just yet. So let's actually move out first and also close the gate right after. This guy is also bulk on the field. Uh, let's build up a post on gate. This way they can enter freely. Bulk has been taken down. They've also the Star Guards now on the field. And also, I mean, now we are looking in a... Looks like we are in a great spot. Did he actually buy this one? Yes, I believe he bought buy this one. Let's close the gate and hope for the best. We are also able to summon Rohirrim now. I want to see if he was able to buy this one. Because if he did buy this one... Oh, what is this actually? Okay. I mean, my first impression about Gondor, I gotta be honest, I feel like Gondor is by far the weakest faction so far, what I was playing with. Boromir, Baragon, Boromir, please be careful, Faramir, oh my god, <laughs> dude! Yeah, come on, we can't deal with that, that's the problem, oh, it's a glorious judge, I didn't even know that. Now we are shining bright like a diamond, it is on cooldown. Let's use Cloud Break maybe to start to slow them. Are we gonna lose everything here, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna lose everything here. Let's make some farms to get the money we need. Gandalf, you can maybe use Easter Light against one of the trolls, would be great. Okay, let's keep moving now. Now we need to deal the damage we are looking for. Gandalf, you can go for a Visa Blast potentially against these units. Gan oh, he got crippled down for, from any from some hero. Yeah, come on. Come on, Gandalf. The straws are actually hitting quite hard. Holy... He's still... Mo crap? No, finally. Okay, we have to peel back now. We have to peel back now. Let's make farms because we have the marketplace and the farms are giving us way more money. We need to get some more ranges on the field as soon as possible. They are destroying this slowly but surely. But it's actually killing us also. And our units are dealing almost no damage to this building. 
because they have no fire. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. What is this? Summon two battalions of Tornadian Rangers. Okay, let's summon them for the defense. Scout for Gonzo. We have to save this. We have not money left. I don't know. The money from Gondo is also kind of feeling weak. What is the hate towards this Gondo? I don't get it. Everyone hates Gondo and everyone wants to nerf Gondo. In compared to Rohan and Gundabad, especially to Isengard, Gondo feels extremely weak. Trust me on that one. Let's build a farm here. We have finally some money. And we once again have to revive a couple of heroes. In this case, Faramir. He cost, by the way, 1,500 because he was level 10. I'm actually thinking about to not revive Beragond anymore because I believe he's kind of useless. Needs like 15,000 hits to kill one unit. Very useless. Okay, let's build another tower here for the defense. We will need some more ranges, definitely. How much they cost? 420. Not very cheap, to be honest. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds for this unit to die eventually to this tower. <laughs> then we can make a move. And with this many farms, we should also get some money over time. Should be nice. Hold them back, give them banners. Get some more of these units on the field. Parami is on his way. But we can't really approach this area without the rangers. So we have to pick them up with our units pretty much. So we have to move together from this pathway, if this makes sense for you guys. And he's also able to recruit constantly units from these buildings too. Okay, to be able to deal with that's not a big deal. Level 10 now. Those Knights of Dolamroth. Get some more. Middle Earth depends on us. Boromir has also last and will continue to fight after health is... Depleted. That's crazy. I mean, you will finally not die anymore. <laughs> Bottom here. Come on. Oh, he has this. Okay, veteran warrior. He's gonna have some armor now. Oh my goodness. These trolls, they are so annoying to deal with. Holy crap, I'm really. And Gandalf doesn't have the Easter light available every couple of seconds, too. So let's buy this farm. Let's move down to this side. Okay, now we can potentially move. Give them all the steel. Tipped things. Let's join now all together. Now we have an army. Worthy of Gonzo. This is outranging our rangers too. Very questionable. Give them banners to make them stronger. I carry the banner for Gonzo. Alright, so let's move now, shall we? We can also summon the red. What is this called? The red arrow. Okay, let's summon the Rohirrim. To regain the map control we need. Okay. And also destroy this one right after. Now we move topside with all the units we got. Kill this, surround. This way we can maximize the DPS. We can also revive now Beragon, just why not, and peeping too. We have to kind of hurt his economy because it feels like he has infinite money. Okay. And he was also buying this back, this outpost. We have to destroy this one as well eventually. And, but they are going down quite fast, the time remaining, I mean. The trolls are really annoying. Come on, kill him. There we go. Let's peel back a bit. Buy those farms as soon as possible. Buy this farm too. I don't want to have any money trouble anymore. What is... What is this? <laughs> this is crazy! Look how fast he's attacking! I mean, it's either Gundabad being really strong or Man of the West, in this case Gondo, being really weak. Top break. Okay. These buildings, once they are level 3 guys, they are they are having like this troll shooting from <laughs> with sto <laughs> throwing stones at us. Come on, dude. And also like crazy attack speed going all out. Alright, but I think we are fine. Let's make some more ranges just in case something goes super wrong. But I think everything should be under control now. We can also move down now with the units. Get this one back under our control. And also you can move downstairs here. Alright, get all the map control we need. Okay. So let's make some more farms. This way we have always money. Lancers. Lancers. The Knights of Dolamroth. Dolamroth Knight Battalion. That's their name. 
Come on. Okay, now we have almost full map control. We are only missing this one farm at the bottom right side, but that's pretty much it. Let me know, guys. I mean, this skirmish felt really hard in compared to... I mean, I was playing even one versus seven skirmishes in BFME 1, and you know that. Maybe you was watching those videos. But this is making also this uh, hard army kind of a bit harder, and I like that. I like challenges. But the map is looking great to me now. We have full map control, absolute control of the skin on the map for Horizon. And... But it's not because of Gondo. Gondo is kind of feeling weak. We will drive them into the dust. Gandalf kind of feels very weak too. Maybe it's me, but he has only one, two damaging abilities, that's it. You know? Remember Saruman? He had the control of the enemy units, fireball, thunder strike, a lot of stuff. Middle earth depends on us. Okay, you are also able to heal yourself. This is gonna make you tank here. But I mean, you have a crazy leadership bonus. That's crazy. 150 damage and armor, but. Anyways, GG well played. Let's use everything in the last second. And group all of them together for the victorious screen. We deserve this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this was enjoyable for you guys, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this. And if you wanna, don't miss the World Championship coming up very soon on my Twitch channel. Make sure to follow the channel Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards, and I would love to meet you in the next live stream. Again, thanks for watching. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, stay Beyond Standards. Peace.